step two. And then in phase three, it's does it work or not? Okay. And then you have to make loads of the vaccine if it works to give to people. And that's a really difficult process to go from the small amounts needed for trial to making. I think Sarah should tell you about the previous work she's doing mm -hmm. and then how, how we managed to, to get a leg up right at the start of January. Sure. So, as Andy was talking about going back to the very beginning of the process, it's the design of the vaccine. How are we going to make this vaccine against the new? <laughs> Potential vaccine. So, the test for antibodies, is that what we originally have already had? Uh, yes, yeah. Hi, are you first time in the world? I am, yes. Not really. 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 Not this just lets us see, these are the viable cells that we can use to look at the antibodies from, and these are the dead cells. So that means we can count the number of cells that we've got all together, but exclude all the dead ones, and then that makes our assays. It's a effort across the university to work to try to understand the disease, and we've been working very closely with other groups to see if that can help us in understanding how to target the vaccine. So it's really been a moment. There are a lot of data that's going around. Is it very, it's very so, open? Yes, and I think. Professor Tess Lam and Andy are also routinely on calls late at night. The repercussions of mental health without frontline workers, what have you who basically absorbed all the pressures and all the, the pain from the, from the patients? Um, that is that's something to worry about for the future, is that we make sure we look after everyone who's, who's been involved in that, because, like I said, the intensity and the... Mm -hmm. Also, you guys have so much to worry about anyway, without having to worry about... It's a great connection for us with the trial in Brazil and has really been um, controlling all of the, the protocols and um, uh, they're looking out for many of them. Is it something you've worked on before, Pedro, something like this? Small so yeah, yeah, scale, yeah. obviously, probably yes. Yeah. So I've, I've been to the channel for the past four years or so, and I've been working on uh, the clinical trials of Pax Territory, which you mentioned, mentioned you should, if you worked on those growth yeah. bars. So, so Pedro actually did the real work on that. <laughs> <laughs> the real work. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, but, uh, the first stuff then really provided a good foundation for the COVID. I think so, yeah.